grace, mercy, and peace be unto the entire the world. Top of the morning to you, wherever you are around the world, viewing me from. Uh, glory to God. Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Uh, good morning, Sister Juliet. Good morning, Jamaica. Uh, good morning, Lagos, England, United States, Canada, wherever you are around the world. Top of the morning. It is a great day. It is an awesome day. It is the Lord's day. Uh, glory to God. And we're giving him thanks that we are alive uh, yet this another day uh, we know that it's nothing uh, good that we have done but it's because of his grace it's because of his mercy it's because of his love and kindness which is so far better than life in itself and that's why this morning uh, my lips shall praise him thus will i bless him for when i think about the goodness of jesus and all that he has done for me my soul cries out thank you lord uh, for saving me again welcome to rise and shine uh glory to god with vivian uh sitting in for minister michelle this morning uh glory to god, god is indeed a good god and we just want to give him praise let's play a little bit of this uh glory to god decree and declare it over your life i am healed i am healed through the wonders of his love i am healed i am healed i am healed by the power of the lamb and his authority i stand i am healed Oh, we bless the name of the Lord. Good morning, Sister Karen. Uh, glory to God. We give God thanks this morning. Uh, yes, I am mindful of the time this morning. Uh, yes, I am here. Oh, through the wonder of his love. Oh, I tell you, I am here. Receive it. The wonders of his love. I am healed. I am healed. I am healed. Ah, yes. By the power of the Lamb and his authority, I stand. I am healed. Ah, we give God praise.
God praise this morning. We give him glory this morning and we give him honor. Father God, you are God and you are God uh, by yourself this morning. We're thanking him that we're healed this morning, uh, that we're delivered this morning and that we are set free. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. We thank him this morning. Uh, glory to God that we are the righteousness of God in him. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord and that we are overcomers. Uh, glory to God again. Top of the morning, trust that you're up and thankful this morning, uh, embracing it in all its fullness. Glory to God. Giving God thanks this morning that you have a roof over your head. Why? Some people don't. Uh, glory to God. Yes. Giving God thanks this morning that you are still amongst the living because guess what? Some people didn't wake up this morning. Uh, glory to God. Or some people found themselves on a ventilator. You didn't. Uh, glory to God. So I trust that you will use uh, the breath that he's given you uh, to fill those lungs uh, glory to God and to give him praise and gratitude and thanksgiving uh, this morning. Again, my name is Vivian. I am the host and founder of Real Talk. Uh, today is not my day, but I'm sitting in for Minister Michelle at this time. I won't be able to be, be before you long, uh, glory to God, but I do want to just encourage us quickly from out of the word of God this morning. Uh, glory to God. Yes, the word of God. Uh, yesterday I said it's so important that we speak his word, believe his word. Uh, glory to God. Do not speak anything that contradicts his word. Uh, glory to God. It's a violation to him. It's an insult to him, actually. Uh, glory to God. Yes, we don't want to do that. Uh, today I want to encourage us uh, briefly uh, this morning out of the book of Psalms 119. Uh, glory to God. Just one verse I'm going to be reading in our hearing uh, from the New King James Version, and it reads, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Uh, glory to God. The word of God is what? It's a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Uh, glory to God. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, we've read the scripture. I'm just most of you have heard and we've quoted this scripture many times. Uh, glory to God. But the psalmist here highlights two important things, uh, glory to God, that I want to touch on this morning. Uh, glory to God, just briefly. And one, it shows you your spiritual condition. Uh, glory to God. The word of God shows us our spiritual condition. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. It is truth. Uh, glory to God. And when it shows us our spiritual condition, we can't say, listen, that's not how it is. Uh, glory to God. Good morning, uh, Brother Rakeem from Out of St. Kitts. Uh, yes. Yeah, so as I said, the word of God shows us our spiritual condition. Uh, glory to God. Now, when we think about, you know, back in the days in Bible time, you understand? And we look at the roads there. They wasn't paved like it was, uh, glory to God, how we have it now. Uh, glory to God. There wasn't no, uh, you know, street lights and all that stuff and bling, bling. Uh, you know what I'm trying to say? And again, they were just like, they were dirty. Lots of dust, lots of gravel, lots of all that stuff. Uh, glory to God. Uh, so just think about it. Uh, many of us who, um, you know, when people come to our house, we're telling them, listen, take off your shoes outside. You understand? Your feet is dirty. You can't walk on my floor with your carpet, all that stuff. Back then, uh, glory to God, you understand? When they were entering into somebody's house, they would pause to wash their feet. Uh, glory to God, yes, yeah. to wash off the dust, to wash off the dirt, to wash off the grime, uh, glory to God. And that's what Bible reading does. When we read the word of God, it washes us. Uh, glory to God, yes, it washes the dust and the sand and the grime from our lives, glory to God. David said it like this, how can a young man, uh, you understand, cleanse his way by taking heed by taking heed according to your word. Uh, glory to God. How do we cleanse our ways? By taking heed uh, to the word of God. We bless the name of the Lord. Uh, glory to God. Another thing that the word does, it shows us the direction we need to go. Uh, glory to God. We don't know the way to go. We've not been this way before. Uh, so the word of God guides us. Glory to God. It guides <clears throat> Sorry, it guides our path. We bless the name of the Lord. As I read, your word is light to my path. 
The word of God is light to our path. And that's why we got to read it on a daily basis. Uh, glory to God. We got to meditate upon it. And we must adhere to it. We must apply it to the errors of our lives. Glory to God. Uh, one of the things that the word does, why it's a guide to us, because you will be faced with many challenges. We'll be faced with many things that we have to make a lot of important decisions. And you don't know where to, which way to go. Have you ever had to make a decision you just don't know what to do? Uh, you know, you don't know if to say no or yes. You don't know if to go ahead or stand still. Uh, glory to God. Yes. Well, what I want to encourage us today, God's word, uh, you know, said God will guide you through his word. Uh, glory to God. Yes. And that's why uh, it's a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, you know, I want to talk about David this morning a lot. David, who loved uh, God's word, he meditated on it consistently and prayed. Uh, glory to God. And that's why we must meditate upon the word of God, because it guides us. We must pray the word of God. We must read it. Uh, glory to God. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. David said it like this in Psalms 143 and verse 10. Teach me to do your will. Oh, glory to God, for you are my God. Your spirit is good. Lead me in the land of uprightness. The word does that. The word of God would lead us into, uh, you understand, the land of uprightness. We bless the name of the Lord. Because in reality, when we think about it, if we're honest with ourselves, we've made many mistakes, glory to God, many mistakes, but what could have been prevented if we stopped long enough to seek God's guidance. Many, I don't know about you. I can only talk about myself. I've made many mistakes, many decisions, quick decisions. Uh, glory to God. You understand why? Because I did not stop to seek God guidance. I did not allow the word to be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I did not allow the word of God to guide me in uprightness, in my decision making. Uh, glory to God. And because of that, many of us are still dealing with the consequences of that. Yes, God has forgiven us. Uh, glory to God. But there's a consequence. Uh, glory to God. We bless the name of the Lord. So I pray today that you will stop and say, uh, glory to God. Yes. And let the word of God guide you. Uh, yes. Let it lead you. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. So I encourage us today. Yes. In regard, in, in according to the book of Psalms 37 and verse five, uh, glory to God. Yes. He knows what lies ahead. God knows what lies ahead of us today. He knows what lies ahead of my day because he's been there already. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. So I encourage us uh, out of the word of God. So commit your way to the Lord. Today, I choose to commit my day to the Lord. I choose to commit my ways to him because he knows the way that I should go. He knows what lies ahead of me. So commit your way to the Lord. Trust also in him. So I'm not only committing my day to him, him. I am trusting in him this morning. Uh, glory to God. I'm trusting that he knows what's best for my today. He knows what lies ahead of me. Uh, glory to God. Yes. And when we trust him, he will bring it to pass. We bless the name of the Lord. So will you trust the Lord today? Uh, glory to God. Will you allow him to guide you today? Uh, glory to God. Will you be a lover of his word today, which is a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path? Glory to God, because without this light uh, that's guiding us, our, our path will become slippery and dark, uh, glory to God. Yes, we'll be ambushed, uh, mighty God, by the enemy. We bless the name of the Lord. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know, just like how we train our children, uh, you understand, uh, you know, the need to like my granddaughter, she's a, 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 a taster of food. You understand, you know, the texture of it. You understand. So, you know, she knows when, uh, you know, you kind of give her healthy food and most kids, you understand, they, they love junk food and they know the difference between junk food and healthy food uh glory to god because they've cultivated a taste for both of them uh glory to god so what am i saying today we should have a desire uh yes and the need to cultivate a taste for god's word 
Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Uh, glory to God. Yes, desiring it above everything else. Because that's why the Bible says, men ought not to live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. That means we must be a lover of the word of God. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. Uh, yes, we must delight ourselves in your commandments. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Your word is pure. The word of God is pure. Therefore, your servant loves it. Uh, that's according to Psalms 119, 140. We bless the name of the Lord. Everything uh, God is founded upon the word of God. We bless the name of the Lord. So I pray today as I come down, uh, glory to God, that you will ask God uh, to give, uh, glory to God, you a love for his word. Ask him to give God, give me a love for your word. Give me that desire that I want to cultivate that taste for your word that I cannot do without it, uh, glory to God. I want to be addicted to the word of God. Come on, somebody. Uh, that addiction that I don't ever want to be broken or to be delivered from. I don't want to be delivered from this addiction. The addiction for the word of God. The addiction to read it and to apply it to my life. To meditate upon it. To allow it to correct me. Uh, glory to God. Yes, to show me my spiritual condition. That when I sin, I can repent quickly. Uh, glory to God. The word of God that will direct my path. Uh, glory to God. That when I need to make contact decision, uh, God, the word of God will guide me. I pray that that will be your prayer today, that you'll ask God to give you that love, uh, glory to God. And that's a prayer I know that he will answer. We bless the name of the Lord. So again, today, I pray that you will become lovers of the word of God. Uh, hallelujah. And not just lovers of it, but you will love to obey it. You'll apply it to your life. You'll meditate upon it. You'll live it and you'll speak it and you'll breathe it. Uh, glory to God, because it's spirit and it's life. And we need it to survive. Uh, we bless the name of the Lord. We need it to be victorious. We need it to be more than conquerors. Uh, glory to God. So I trust that you will be blessed uh, today uh, by this nugget. Again, my name is Vivian. I'm sitting in for Michelle on this day. Uh, glory to God. Keep it locked as we go on a little bit with this, uh, with this before I do our benediction. <laughs> I am healed, I am healed, through the wonders of his love, I am healed, I am healed, I am healed, by the power of the Lamb, in his authority I stand, I am healed. Once again, uh, I want to thank you for joining us. I want to thank you for joining us throughout this week. Uh, glory to God. Yes, from Monday to today. Uh, glory to God. Here ends the week of our broadcast for our daily devotion. Uh, glory to God. Rise and shine. Trust that you've enjoyed it. Trust that you've received the word this week. Uh, glory to God. Yes, trust that you'll go and look over the videos. Watch them over, whether it be on Facebook, on YouTube. Encourage yourself. Uh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Uh, looking forward for us to serving you again on Monday by God's grace. It is a, I think, a long weekend here in Canada. 
uh, what is it, um, Thanksgiving weekend. But guess what? Uh, we give God thanks every day, every second. We just don't wait for uh, just now to do it. Uh, glory to God. Yes, we are grateful every day. Uh, so whatever you do this weekend, the Lord bless you, giving God thanks. Remember uh, somebody else that does not have need while you sit around your dinner table with all that food. Remember, uh, glory to God, somebody else and uh, share your bread with somebody else. Glory to God. As for myself, um, you know, on Sunday, I will be heading out to the institution to minister there. Uh, glory to God. So join us for uh, Word Day this Sunday, our Sunday night service, if you're able to. Uh, yeah, we will be here. Minister Andre will be speaking uh, this Sunday. And again, looking forward to serving you tomorrow if the Lord tarries. Uh, glory to God. Again, with clean hands and a pure heart and a right motive. Uh, my name is Vivian. I am sitting in for Minister Michelle today. Have yourself a wonderful day uh, today. Remember, Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Wherever you are around the world remember you have the heart of a champion the mind of an overcomer the spirit of more than a conqueror for greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world remember you are a lit candle go out and light your world have yourself a good day have yourself a good weekend uh glory to god be safe out there and remember uh god become a lover of god's word because it's uh yes you need it uh, glory to God. Yes, you need it. It's a lamp unto your feet and a light unto your path. Way, uh, glory to God. Yes, it will reveal your spiritual condition and it will guide you when you may, need to make those important decisions. All right, so the Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. Uh, grace, mercy, and peace be unto each and every one of you. Nothing lacking, nothing broken. Again, top of the morning.